Hey guys, Quibbler Nash 42 thanks for coming back to see me today. Today, you're going to find out why I have a completely different set of armor, and why the TARDIS isn't behind me where you think it is. Spoiler alert! Uh... Alrighty, welcome back guys. Uh, uh, I have had a couple of false starts. Uh, so as you saw in the intro, I got this thing to move around a little bit. And I was trying to put it back where it was so that I could kind of redo the video again. Because I flew it around in this, uh, I went in, I started up by recording my audio. I forgot to hit WinG and start up recording the, uh, the actual gameplay. So that would have been really helpful for you to see. Oh, no well, no biggie. So, let's go back inside, actually, well, actually I can go back inside. There we are. Hello. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need ourselves a book. Because we're going to do some stuff. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, there's my death. Wow, that's a long way out. Alright, well, I'll have to go get my stuff. That's I don't know how I'm going to get back. Eh, we'll see. So we'll leave my death out there for a little while. Oh, you can't. oh, there it is. So, anyway. So the first thing you need to do. So I went out to the Discord for the mod authors. And I asked, hey, how do I fly this thing? And they said, well, first you need a manual. Well, they didn't tell me this. I read the, I read the wiki. And the way you get a manual, click. Right click with a book. And that will then highlight all the different stuff that you're looking at. Showing you what's what. Not that it tells you much more than that. But that's okay. So let's give a real quick... Let me show you how this works. I'm going to end up dying again over there, but that's okay. So here's the real-world flight interface. Here's how this works. You right-click on here with the book. And nothing happens. Nice. Oh, there it goes. And then you wait, and you wait, and you wait. What's going on here? F5. That's what you want to do. Actually, I want to go this F5. And then you just move around. It looks like when you go backwards, you go up. When you go forward, you go down. You can go sideways, however you want. But what you want to do, kind of, is not fly it like that. And can we land? Can we land? We can't land. Oh. Let's see if we can land it right over here. Oh, that's terrible. Let's not land there. Oops, let's not land there either. Ooh, let's not land there. This is awful. Okay, so this feels about as reliable as I would expect a TARDIS to fly. Okay, that'll do. So now we left shift to dismount, and then we end up in the void. Falling! Falling! Oh, what a world! And it's just easier if we do that. Oh, I didn't notice I left myself, I left myself in creative mode because I was going to fly around and see if I could find where my tombstone was. And then I decided I didn't care. So, oh, wrong way. Zero, not one. All right, so I am currently in ghostly mode right now. Ooh, ghostly! Because Corral, uh, Corral tomb, Tombstone puts you in ghostly mode. That way you can kind of get back to your grave without too much trouble. But we don't need that right now, so we're going to leave it. Oh, excellent. This worked out well. Okay. Perfect. Oh, hello, Cyber Zombie. How are you over there? Good to see you. Hi. Hello. No? You going to hang out over there? Okay. All right, so I hope that was fun for you. Let's go back inside. I'm going to need another key. Thankfully, I left this out here. So we're going to go back inside, and I'll show you what we got. So that's that's that was the fun, exciting part of the day today. So we've created a manual, and look at that. I didn't even save that one. Let's see what happens if I can save even that one. Bing. All right. Right-click. Great. Can I? Oh, I can. All right, so let's get our stuff back. 
I'm going to carry that around for a while. I don't need you right now. I need one of you. 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 One of you. 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 And you. I thought I really need these. Okay. So, we're going to do some Batania today. I know we're a little bit off. Oh, so anyway, uh, I built this up. It took a little while, but not too long. Remember I showed you the uh, the builder's mod? Well, it's actually another tool that's even cooler. Uh, but I'll show you when we're actually going to build something. It's called the trowel, and it makes these random patterns. Isn't this awesome? It looks like a random pattern. I didn't do this. And uh, I kind of, I don't know. I'm not entirely enthused with the layout. I'm just trying a couple of different designs. When I do skyblock, I like to have a nice big area where I can test stuff. Uh, so that's what this is. So this is kind of my testing area. Right now, uh, here we go. Oh! And shaders. Shaders are off. Yeah, because we're going to spend a lot of time in here. And it's always night in here. So it was always kind of dark and gloomy. Eh, plus, it's a little bit faster. Look, I got 183 frames per second. Yes, I know. That's not a real thing. but All right. So we have managed to get ourselves some Batania going. Now it's time to take it up a notch. Did I leave anything in here? I didn't. Uh, so let's go back over here. I left myself one of these. So we're going to need some mana. And we're going to start generating mana. So did I create a mana spreader? I did. I'm not going to show you how to make a mana spreader because, you know, they're easy enough. You can use this JEI thing and that'll tell you. But the, what I do want to make, I actually have one of these. I guess it doesn't matter. Is Alexa Pictanica. And again, look, easy enough. You combine a sapling and a book in a crafting grid and you get yourself Alexa Pictanica. That's a great book. Uh, so, what we want right now is it Endo Flames? Da, 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 da. Yes. Endo flames are a unique little ma animal. I'm not going to read this to you like other guys do. But what it does is this nifty little plant. It eats combustible material, so coal, wood, anything that can burn. It eats it and generates mana from it. Oh, no. Okay. Change of plans. I don't know that I have all of the... Well, wait. Actually, sorry. Let's do this. Oh, I'll go back here. Uh, generating... It's the second one there, so it's easy enough to find. Ding, ding, ding. Red, brown, and light gray. Let's see what I have. Red. Oh, I do. Brown. Helps if you spell brown, right? I don't. Light gray. Don't have that. Okay. See, people talk about um, Project B being kind of OP. Because, hey, I can get infinite amount of uh, red flowers. Problem is, I have to go find the flowers first. And I haven't found any flowers first. So that doesn't really help me much. So what we need to do is we're going to have to go make some. So we'll need some floral fertilizer. And to make floral fertilizer, and with this, well, we'll show you in a second. I need some bone meal and any kind of powder. Uh, so that means I'm going to need a, can I get that? I can. Stick, birch planks, bowl. I haven't done a bowl yet, right? No. So, planks. Not necessarily birch planks. And a bowl, and this, and that, and I think we're all set. Okay. So, first things first, we're going to make ourselves a pestle and mortar. Nope. First things first, we're going to make ourselves a bowl. And we're going to do it right. Bing. Four bowls. Okay. And then we'll make a pestle and mortar. Click. There we go. We got one of them. Put those back. Alrighty, now what you do is you take these guys, turn them into petals, and then you take these petals, and you turn them into dust. And then you wait. There we go. So now we have all this dust. So now I just need some bone meal. I think I have some bone meal. Or at the very least, I have bones. So we can make bone meal. We'll make lots of bone meal. So now I need this, and click, and look at all that. All right, let's go have ourselves some fun. So, and yeah, I have a so I have a transmutation table here. I have one over here at the TARDIS entranceway, or in the console room, I guess we're going to call it. Uh, and we can only use this floral fertilizer on grass, so we have to go outside. And then I have the one that's still outside. See, the way EMC works is it's kind of tied to you, so it doesn't matter where you go. As long as you've got a transmutation tablet table, you can get to it. And in fact, that may be what we do. I don't know if we're going to do that today, because we've got so many other things I want to get done today. And we're way behind already. 
So all this does is it just grows these nifty flowers from Batania all over the place. And in theory, if you got enough of this stuff, you should get all the flowers. All the colors. So let's see how we did. Ooh. That is an everlasting pea. Something I could say about that. I'm not going to. So let's... Uh, those guys were already there, so I'm going to leave them there. Why? Why not? I don't need them. I already have white. Right? <laughs> I think I have what I need, almost. And I got, there's a brown. Nice. So grab that guy. You come with me. I hear a zombie. I hear a skeleton. Yeah, skelly zombie bones. Yeah, you may as well come with me, too. And I think that's all of them. Let's see how we did. Mystical gray. Don't need that. I do need light gray. There we go. I need red. I've had that. Brown. Nice. All right. Yeah, looks nice there. We'll leave that black one there. Let's go back inside. Alrighty then. So let's do this. I like these special sound effects that I've added for you guys. It's cool, right? Eh, learn a bowl. Okay. So, I need... There must be a fish in there, because it's bubbling. I need light gray. I need red. Uh, do I have the red dust? Does it create rose red? That's interesting. Let's take a look at that. And what was the other one? Brown? Brown. All right. So let's turn these guys into the various things that they need to be turned into. Click. Click. And we'll do half of you. Need a brown floral powder. Oh, wait. I don't need that. Derp. Derp move, right? All right. Uh, actually, what I wanted to see was... What happens if I do this? Does it turn into rose red? No, it doesn't. That's weird. Okay. So, we have our petals, we have our brown, we have this, you know what we need? Seeds. And a bucket of water. And yes, I know, I have one on the back of my petal apothecary. That's more of an emergency one, you know, in case I have a water emergency. So let's do this, let's clear out our thing. So, actually I need you back. I need two browns, a gray, and a red. Okay. Two browns, a gray, a red, a seeds, a water bucket, and then we'll have an empty hand. Okay. So, petal apothecary, very easy to use. Just kind of toss your petals in there. Two, one, this. And it tells you if you got a successful. See how he's got that little thing there? Bam. All right. So, here's what we're going to do. Fill that with water. Fill that with water. And then we're going to right click. There we go. And it puts everything right back in. There you go. Fill that with water. Fill that with water. Right click with an empty hand. Drop in some seeds. You say, what are you doing here? That's a, you're making a whole bunch of these? Well, yeah, I am. And you'll see why in, in just a moment. Okay, always fill your petal of pot with carry back up, kids. Lesson you'll learn the hard way. All right, so let's put all this stuff back because we are now done with it. So now we're going to have ourselves some fun. You mean we haven't been having fun up until now? No. As a matter of fact, you have not. All right, so what we've got here... I've got eight of these guys, so what I'm going to do... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to surround here. Yep, that'll work. No, no, that's not going to work. I'll put one there. So what I'm going to do is I need you to go up, you to go up. Put you there and you there. And then we'll get rid of these. And the reason I'm doing it this way is if you have that cleared off and then you put these guys down, they ought to... 
Oh, you know what I don't have? Look at that. Do I have a wand of the forest? I do not. So let's grab some living wood. Uh, I can't remember whether it's wood or sticks, but that's okay. And we'll grab some petals. That's not what I want with that. Do I have any black? I should have black. If not, I'm going to be really upset with myself for leaving that one black one out there. I only need two of you, so is this... Uh, nope. Is it this thing dang dome? Nope. Okay. We'll look it up. Oh, it's just two. Okay. I don't need you. Thank you very much. So we'll grab all those. And it's stink dank doomp. Click. Uh, bottom. And one there. There we go. Black and lime green. Matches my ensemble. All right. This can go in here. You can go in there. You can go in there. You can go in there. You can learn that. There you go. Learn that. All right. Now we're set. So this is kind of your wrench for Batania. So we're in function mode right now. Shift right click. Oh, we were in bind mode. So bind to that. Bind you to that. And you're attached to that one. So let's see here. You're attached to that one. You're attached to that one. You're attached to that one. Good, good, good. See, if you put them down afterwards, they automatically find a mana spreader to. Uh, bind with so that then don't have to go through the hassle of doing it yourself. And this last one can go here. Who are you going to bind with? I don't know. Oh, bind, with, bind with the left one. Okay. So that's step number one. So now we've got our things. So let's grab ourselves. I think I made an open crate. I did. I have my dirt. But it's not really needed. Over here. All right. I know we're kind of compacting it in here. I need some redstone. I need a slab. Uh, actually, what do we got here? Yeah, let's grab some of these. Grab some slabs. Six will do. I only need one. Oh, gotta be careful. I don't go and jump off. Okay, so we got that. You go up here. Nope, I don't want you to go there. <laughs> Can never remember how to do this. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. Oh, uh, I can do it. Can I do it here? Possibly. Yeah, there we go. We'll put you there. Excellent. And then I think I just need to go here. Yeah. And then we have one more thing we need. Boing! Look at that. Have I made a hopper yet? How far into this game do you get before you finally do a hopper? Just iron. All right. Let's make us a hopper or many. Uh, here we go. I can count. I got words, numbers. Okay, bing, and can I make it? Ooh, look at that. That's some parkour in right there. My daughters are sitting there watching this video going, <laughs> yeah, that's parkour for you, Dad. They've seen me parkour. Okay, so how's this, how's this guy? I fell in the toilet. Um, how's this work? So what's going to happen is this open crate doohickey up here. Uh, so if you've ever seen stuff drop like a dispenser in vanilla Minecraft, it throws it all over the place. This guy's a little bit more accurate. It will drop stuff and it'll drop it straight down. What will happen here is when it drops down, uh, oh, we can just do it that way. Oh, it's gonna, no, nope, I don't wanna do that. Never mind. Let's do something it won't eat. These guys won't eat because I want them to eat. So we do that. And now this hopper is turned off, right? So all we need to do now is give it something to eat. Hey, you know what I think might be a good thing? Remember all those fuels we made last episode? Wow, look at that 4 million EMC. Good thing we got more stuff cooking over there, right? 
That's all right. We're not going to do this. We have eight guys in here. What I'm going to do is half, 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 put them over there. So what happens is they drop off. They land on the pressure plate, which activates, turns off the hopper until it's been eaten by one of the flowers. And then it drops the next one, which gets eaten by a flower, which drops off the next one, which gets eaten by a flower, which drops off. You want me to go through that again? No? Okay. I don't blame you. I was already annoyed myself. And now we're starting to get some mana. Okay. So one of the first things I wanted to make, let me show you this. Grass. I just need one. I should have enough. I do not. We'll give it a second. I have over here. Is that? It is. Learn that. We'll make the others later. So what's a pasture seed? Well, if you right click on here, it starts growing grass. Uh, so you know what we should do? We should speed this process up. Oh, wrong one. Watering can. Polished and a bowl. So we need some kind of polished. Do I have any polished? I do not. Oh, <laughs> I can't spell it. So brick. I can do that. I can do stone brick. Let's grab you. Polished stone. There you go. Eat one of those. And a bowl. That was the other thing I needed. A bowl. Really? How about this? Really? Oh, it's just stone. Derp. All right, well, we made polished stone. So we've got that for future. Not that we'll ever need it again, but, you know, whatever. Don't judge me. That's my job. I'm judgmental. Oh, no MC. All right, we'll fix that later. And the way you fix it, right, is so we know that this stuff... 16, 16, 16, so that's 64. Bowl is 6. Actually, we can do that right now. 70. Normally, Project E will calculate based on what the cost of the resources that made the thing are. Is that 70, I said? 70, I said. All right, those EMC values have now reloaded. Interesting. Doesn't like it. And we'll have to play around with it. So the way you use this weird watering can is you have to fill it up like any other watering can. And then you just kind of... S oh, where are we at here? Does it have to be full all the way, really? Or am I using it wrongly? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm doing it on the dirt and not the grass. Hmm. My watering can does not seem to work. Or does it? Nope, not getting any particles. I wonder if it's because I'm in the void. That's interesting. Let's go see what happens if we go outside. Uh, let's take a quick gander out there. I should make that closer, don't you think? Hello. Okay, will this work? Interesting. It does. I can see the water going down inside. I wonder if it's something with the resource pack. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, it looks like it's working, but it's not doing anything. You know, those two things, I usually need them to do both. Right? I need it to both work and do something. No, nope, that's not doing anything. That's right. It'll eventually all turn to grass anyway. And that's it. So we got lots of mana coming in here. Ow, that hurt. Ow, don't do that. Well, not a lot of mana, but we'll have mana going for a little while. So now we can do one of my favorite things. Bing. Take some of this. Throw it in there. Throw that in there. Pull that back out of there. What was that? What? What? What has happened? I am stuck. And I don't know how. Um, all right, can we do this? No, I am way stuck. That's, oh, 
I know what it is. Hold on. Let's switch back. Okay. Stairs. Stairs. Watch this. Uh. Yep. I'm sitting. On the stairs. Yep. There we go. See? Sitting. Ain't that cool? Yep. Alright. So I wasn't stuck. I was just sitting. I was stuck sitting. Okay, so we've got that. Let's make ourselves some armor. And we should grab some twigs. Make ourselves a complete set of tools. Uh, okay, so I need that. And I need one of those. And I need one of them. I get rid of those. Make one of them. Get rid of those. Make one of them. And then there's one more thing we need to make. Actually, two more things. Grab some living rock. Grab a diamond. Uh, diamond. Hopefully, I've got enough mana left for that. I do. EMCU. Thank you. Over here. What's he doing? He is making a mana tablet. Look at that. Alright, so how much mana do I have in here? Eh, some. This will tell it to export the mana into my mana tablet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to carry that thing. Actually, we're not. We're going to make something else. Do I have any more? I do. That's empty. How about you? Got some in there? And that's one empty mana pool. And I think it's this. Is this all it is? Oh, you know, if you do it right, it works even better. I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. Did I store this? I didn't, but now I did. It'll be interesting to see. M-A-N. Nope, it's empty. Okay. Put you there. One, two, three, four. That's the ring you're looking for. Hold on a second. Okay, my daughters did come by to visit me. All right, so let's go back in here, put this in the bubble slot. There we go. Uh, now, if you look down the bottom, under my hearts, there's a little blue line there. That represents how much mana I've got on me. And the reason that's important is because as long as you have mana on you, this mana steel stuff, it won't break. It has essentially infinite durability as long as you've got mana available. So that's kind of cool, right? Uh, it took a little while to get there, but we got there. And I'm very happy with it. So now I have a set of tools that will never break. I have a set of armor that will never break. Now, this isn't the best armor, right? Uh, I think relative to the diamond, it's a little bit less, yeah. Uh, both in terms of performance and damage and so forth. But, you know, what are you going to do? All right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this thing continue to build up. I may even feed it some more... What do you call them there? The uh, things. Eternalist fuels. So I have a whole bunch more. But for right now, I think we've got some stuff done that we wanted to get done today. So thanks again for joining me. Thanks for coming out to see me. I hope you had a great time. I know I did. And this is Quibbling Ash 42. Ha ha. Calling it quits inside the TARDIS.